Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In today's video, we're going to install Kotlin on a Chromebook. So the first thing we need to do is enable the Linux development environment. To do that, I'm going to click on the launcher here and find my settings. Click on settings. Go to the left hand side. Go to advanced. Click on that and this tab should expand and you'll see developers. I'm going to click on that and where I see Linux development environment I'm going to click turn on and then next. It'll give me a username which is based off of my email I believe. I'm going to keep that as is and a recommended disk size which can be changed later. I'm going to keep that as is. I'm going to click install and that's going to take a few moments so I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once the Linux development environment is installed, a terminal will pop up. I'm going to maximize this and increase the font size so you can see what I'm doing. I want to make sure everything is up to date, so I'm going to type sudo apt get update and then two ampersands, which means and, and then sudo apt get dist dash upgrade. And I'm going to use a dash y flag so I don't have to answer yes to the additional space. I'm going to hit enter. This will take a few moments, so I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, now that the Linux development environment is enabled, we can go forward and install Kotlin. But first, we need to install Java. We can do that with sudo apt install default dash JDK and hit enter. It's going to ask us to confirm the use of additional space. I'm going to say yes and hit enter. Okay, now that Java is installed, we have to run a curl command. So if I bring up my browser and I'm finding this off sdkman.io forward slash install, we have this curl command to install sdkman. So let's go and now paste this in with control shift V and hit enter. Okay, and it's telling me I have to install zip on my system and then we'll rerun after installing zip. So what I have to do is sudo apt install zip and hit enter. Now that zip is installed, let's rerun this curl command. Okay, and now let's install Kotlin with SDK install Kotlin and hit enter. And you notice it's saying that the SDK command is not found. Okay, we have to now run this source command. So let's copy this and paste this in with control shift V and hit enter. Let's try the SDK command again. Okay. Now it says it's setting up Kotlin 1.8.2 as default. Let's do Kotlin hyphen version and hit enter. And you'll see we have Kotlin version 1.8.2 release 327 installed. So we've installed Kotlin on the Chromebook. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.